Hi and welcome to this training video on the Connect to Fans website. In this video we're going to be talking about adding digital products to your store. So you can see here that I'm just on my home page. I'm going to click the blue add item button. I want to add a product and this pulls up all the different product categories that we have. You'll notice these product categories with the blue arrow that means that this category has a downloadable product in it. So it's a digital product and that's what I want to add. So I'm going to make a video here. I'm going to name it Average Joe Movie Show Intro. I want it to be for sale today, starting today. And let's say that if for whatever reason I only wanted this to be for sale for a month, I could do that. So I'm going to change this to April. Click done. If you want this to be for sale for really an indefinite time, just change the year to 2050 or 2070 or something like that. In the description, add something that lets people know what they're buying and the price. I think that people would want to pay 99 cents for this. Click the save button. Okay, and now I can really get into the details of this product. I want to add images for this and I don't like any of the images that are currently in my library so I'm going to upload an image for this intro again this drag and drop feature is very helpful and this is the image that I want for that intro go ahead and start upload there it is it's not the right size so we pull up the editor perfect and the product image. So this is a great place to put a screenshot of your intro. I'm just going to upload image again. Drag and drop. And there's that screenshot. Click on that, not the right size. Shrink that down a touch. and for the preview image also notice that you can put more than one product image in here for the preview image I'm just going to do the same thing just for the sake of time because you all get the point now let's go to source okay now there's an important difference here that you need to pay attention to the digital source is the actual file that you want people to be able to download now you can see that I've already uploaded this video uh, if I hadn't, then you can just click the upload video. We've been through this a hundred times before. It's a piece of cake. That's the one that I want. The sample source, though, is somebody can click on a sample of that and say, take a 10 second clip of it. So if you're uploading the short film that you just made, it's a 10 minute film. Well, you don't want to put the whole film as the sample source. Otherwise, people can just watch the film on this site. Instead, Maybe you put your trailer there, or maybe you put a 30 second clip of it there. So that's the difference between the digital source and the sample source. Click that, upload your shorter version of it. And again, if your browser has that autoplay feature like Chrome does, you're going to need to browse to it, to any video or audio. Start upload, and there it is. Now let's go to the advanced tab. Again, you can edit the permalink there if you just want to give somebody a link directly to that video or CD or anything like that. Which category do you want to put it in? Again, I can't stress the importance of categories. So you can make a categories for your music videos. You can make a category for your albums, all these things. Uh, we're going to put this in the podcast category. Hide countdown. This is a really cool feature. You remember that in the last step we selected the sale dates of when you could start buying something and when you could stop buying something. Well, if you put that date in the future, say for example, you've got a concert coming up and you're going to start selling tickets next week. Well, Hide Countdown gives you the ability to count down the time until tickets go on sale. So if you click no on Hide Countdown, then it will show people that you've got three days, two hours and 41 minutes until you can start buying tickets for that event. 
or whatever the product is. So we set this to no, do not hide the countdown. Maximum purchase quantity, I only want someone to be able to buy three at a time. And the security, do I want this open to anybody or does someone have to have a password to access it? I want it open to everybody. Go to the inventory tab, and this is what I was talking about, inventory type. Normally for your digital products, you're probably going to do an unlimited. But let's say you're doing this promo deal. And so for this 99 cent version, we want a fixed inventory. We're going to add inventory and we are going to add a thousand units. Click the save button. And there you go. You've got a great pie chart here that's going to tell you how many are available, how many have sold, and how many are locked in. Now let's say you're thinking, oh, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't want to do a, a thousand unit giveaway. I just want to do 500. No problem. Click on the minus button to subtract inventory. I want to remove 500 of these. Click on the disk, and you see here available 500. It just took those out. So go ahead and save that product. The product has been updated successfully. Check, close this out, and you know what? There's our product right there the Average Joe Movie Show intro for 99 cents. Well, that's how to add a digital product to your site so people can start downloading them, start paying for them, and you can start making a little bit of money. That's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one.